Hi, I'm Joseph Kateri, and after watching this video, you will never need this cable ever again. Well, un unless you need to charge your headset, or like you need to transfer anything, or or even like install things. So maybe you should just like keep it. Uh, anyways, let's go. Rate the fit. Do I look depressed yet? I can't tell. I was going for the depressed look. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have this bad habit of absolutely destroying my room right before I record. So now I, I feel like I'm just going to be known as the dude who has a messy room. And I don't want that. My room is actually very tidy usually. Uh, I was just busy setting up a new monitor, so. Anyways, if you're watching this video, you're trying to figure out a way to use your Oculus device wirelessly, but can't really figure out how. I mean, I had the same reaction when I got sick of using the Oculus Link cable. Well, a good solution to that is using Virtual Desktop. Now, some some people might already be typing the comments, all like sick comments I usually get. Um, why not just use Air Link? Well, it doesn't fucking work for me. So I am using Virtual Desktop, and I'm showing you how to do that. But first, let's take a look at this. Don't know where I put it. I never know where I put it. 98% of you are not subscribed, and if I want to feed my cat tonight, uh, please subscribe, give me money. But I, I actually, these videos aren't monetized, so like, just subscribe, I guess. All right, so you wanna use Virtual Desktop. Well, you definitely made the right choice. It is a stellar program worth every penny in my opinion. In fact, it's basically the main way I use my Oculus Quest nowadays, especially now that, uh, my headset refuses to work with Oculus Link and it still doesn't work with Air Link. So, I mean, it's kind of my only choice, but it's a good choice. This tutorial will show you where to get Virtual Desktop and how to install it. For this tutorial to work, you will need to have Virtual Desktop fully purchased, I believe it's $20, from the Oculus Store, which I will show you in a minute. You will also need a solid 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection, a, a good connection, uh, which your headset will use wirelessly, and your PC is actually going to have to be connected via Ethernet. I don't believe it has to be connected via Ethernet, but it definitely should be if you want this to be worth your while. Also, I'm still like super sick. Uh, if anything, my sickness has gone worse from the last video, or the last two, so wish me luck, I don't die. Again, just want to emphasize that you need to purchase virtual desktop on the Oculus Store, whether that be on the app or the headset itself. Uh, just don't get it from Steam. It will not work with Oculus Quests. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and actually put on your Oculus headset. Open up the actual App Store and go ahead and just purchase virtual desktop. I already have it purchased. And afterwards, just install it and then open it. Now, when you open it, you'll see some instructions on the main screen. It's probably going to be two lines. Well, we basically have to follow those instructions. And right underneath of it, or above, I don't remember, it will display your username. Make sure you remember that because it is a step that we will actually be completing a little bit later on that I will show you. Okay, so now go to your settings on the left side and just make sure all your settings look roughly the same as mine. Each one has its own description, so if you really want to, you can change some of it. Uh, the only thing that really shouldn't be the same is the bitrate. It really all depends on how good your Wi-Fi connection is. Mine is actually pretty bad considering how far I am from my router. So I have mine set pretty low. If you have like really bad Wi-Fi, it could be even lower, or if you have better, it could be higher. It really all changes, you have to experiment. Now go to the video tab or graphics or whatever I clicked, I don't remember, and make sure all of them, again, look basically the same as mine. There should only be two potential differences. Your quality settings could be very different from mine. I personally have a 3070 graphics card. It is very good, so I have mine set to the highest setting. If you have something like maybe a 1660 or something like that, you could set it lower. My bitrate, again, is also going to be different because I do not have a good Wi-Fi connection up here. I don't even think I'm getting 5 gigahertz. If you have really good Wi-Fi and 5 gigahertz, probably set it higher. If you don't, set it lower. It all depends and it will all fluctuate for everybody. Okay, so now get off your headset, go to this website. It is vrdesktop.com or .net, sorry. And then go ahead and click download streamer app, the Windows version, obviously if you, have, if you have a Mac, the Mac one. By the way, the link to this website will be down in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead, check out my other socials. I have a TikTok, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram. I even have a Discord that I'm regularly on and all of you can contact me with. You can even see what music is playing down in the description. All right, so now on my desktop, it says virtual desktop, whatever, just double click it. This will pop up, just click yes. All right, and now you're just gonna click next, click next, click install, click finish. And then this came up. Usually, 
you can just click close. It's basically just saying, hey, there's some stuff that can mess with uh, virtual desktop. Most of the time it's fine. Like mine, it says NordVPN. That won't, it's not even on. It won't do anything. NVIDIA in-game overlay. Again, probably won't affect performance. Punk Buster, don't, I don't know what that is. I think it's like the Valorant anti-cheat. Again, it doesn't really matter. Just click close. And now this should show up. Virtual Desktop Streamer. This is the important thing. Now, since I've done this before, it's probably different for you. It might say uh, connect PC or something like um, type in Oculus username. Well, you remember how I told you to memorize that username that it gave you? Well, you're just going to go ahead and just type it in here and it should connect you. Uh, also, just make sure your headset's on for this and you're already in the Virtual Desktop app. Like you should be in the app. So yeah, just make sure both of those match up, both usernames match up perfectly well, and it should automatically connect, and it should be all good. Now for this preferred codec, I set on automatic, it's usually for the best. And you can just go ahead and look at each of these settings on the side. Each one's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through them quickly. Allow remote connections, you kind of need that one. Automatically adjust bitrate. This one is good because it changes by itself. You don't have to mess with the bitrate settings like I said earlier. It just kind of does it by itself and you're good. But if you want to do it yourself, like if you are okay with sacrificing some latency for better quality or something like that, then you can just handle that on your own and uncheck this. I don't like to start it with Windows. Uh, I don't keep it minimizing tray. Again, it's up to you. Use touch input, that's pretty important. Lock computer and disconnect, doesn't really do much, man. It, it really just depends on you. Auto select microphone, I like it. However, if, it, if you have a complex audio setup, then maybe it's not a good idea. Stream audio, it's pretty much a must have, especially if you're a streamer or a content creator. Mute computer speakers, it's pretty good, especially so that you don't get double audio that you're hearing. It's just a pretty useful feature. And then use virtual audio driver. You kind of need this. All right, so now that it's actually connected, you're just going to go ahead and put on the headset again. Then you're going to go ahead and go to virtual desktop once again. Make sure you have the desktop app open and make sure the VR headset app is open. And your PC should automatically connect as long as you got those usernames correct. Now just start streaming and you should have a virtual view of your monitor. From here, you can do stuff like open up Steam VR and start playing Beat Saber. Again, as long as your Wi-Fi connection is good enough. Or you can even just like use your desktop normally. You want to type on a Google Doc? I guess you can. All right, so by now you should have virtual desktop running in order to connect your Oculus device to your PC wirelessly. Anyways, this channel is all about making educational and entertaining VR content, so hit the bell to know when I upload or join the Discord because I also give updates on there. You can find links to my TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, uh, and even the music playing down below. Have a nice day.